everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a, another fall inspired makeup tutorial. I wanted to do a really sort of rich warm eye makeup look which was quite subtle that you could wear day to day um, if you were going to work or anything like that. It's very wearable but it's also more smoky and sultry at the same time. So I really had fun playing around with some new makeup items that you will see in the tutorial. If you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to go in with today is my L'Oreal Skin Perfection Magic Blur Primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my skin today. I'm especially applying it over any areas that I get extra oily and also have large pores. I'm now going in with the new formula of the L'Oreal True Match. This was in the shade 3W, um, I believe it was I, I know, Golden Beige, I think. Um, I'll put all the product links um, in my blog post and also a description in the description box below. But I have filmed a new first impression of this new formulation compared to the old formulation True Match. So if you want to see that video, then please like this video as well and I will get that up for you. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and this colour Nude. I'm just going to pop this on my under eye um, area where I have dark circles. This is just going to help um, minimize the look of the dark circles when I apply concealer later on and then I'm just blending it all into my skin with my Real Techniques complexion sponge. For my under eye concealer I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer I believe this is in the lightest shade is it 10 or 15 I'm just applying this in a triangular shape underneath my eyes and also down the center of my face. cinnamon and nude again from the cream contour kit i'm just going to go in with a round top kabuki brush just to bronze my skin and also to hollow out the contours of my face Going in with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent, I'm just going to apply this onto all the areas that I applied my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, just to set it all in place so it doesn't crease and move throughout the day. To set the rest of my face, I'm just going in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus. I'm just applying this with a large powder brush. I'm now going to go in with Fawn from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. And I'm taking this on a fan brush and again setting all that area where we've hollowed out the contours of my face. And then I will also go in with the Havana shade to bronze my skin where we applied those bronzing cream contour shades as well. I'm now going to move on to the rest of my face. I'm just going to apply a light layer of the matte finish long lasting setting spray from NYX. If 
recently picked up this new MUA eyebrow pencil in the shade blonde. It has a little brush on one end and it's a soft kind of pencil on the other. So I'm just going to use this today to fill in my brow. So I use the brush first, which is what I pretty much always do, just to brush my brow hairs into position. And I'm just filling my brow in with the pencil. It was a very soft pencil, so if you want a lot of definition um, on when you draw the brow hairs in, then this is quite a soft pencil, I will just say. And I'm just going in with the Fit Me Concealer on a flat definer brush just to define my brow even more, just to sort of sculpt out the bottom part. I'm now just going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I've heard so many people talk about this product, so I picked it up and wanted to give it a try. So I'm just setting my brows in position with this product. I'm now going in with Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid, all the way up to the brow bone. This is just going to conceal our eyelids so there is no pigmentation or veining on our lid. And then I'm going in with a little bit more of that Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and setting that Painterly Paint Pot. I'm now going in with my Shadow Couture Well Traveler palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the shade Soft Peach as a transition shade today. As you can see I've just buffed it into my crease and built up the pigmentation. I'm now going in with Morocco which is a deeper orange shade and I'm just going to apply this to the sort of outer half of my eye. I'm then going in with Spoiled and applying this on to my inner half of my eyelid and blending it back into that Morocco shade. And I'm just going in with a clean blending brush to blend everything together. Going back in with Morocco, I'm just going to deepen up that outer V area and also into my crease just to make sure we haven't blended any of that colour away. I'm now going in with Java from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit and I'm just going to deepen up my crease even more with this shade. And then just going in with Sand as an inner corner highlight again from that Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. I'm also taking that same Morocco shade and blending this along my lower lash line. Using the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey, I'm just going to line my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with Fudge from that same eyeshadow palette and smudging this along my lower lash line and into that waterline colour that we have just used. I'm also going to use this Fudge shade to line my top lashes and also wing it out on that outer corner. As you can see I'm just gradually building the colour up and smoking it out. I'm now going to line my tight line with the Maybelline Eye Studio Drama Gel Liner in the shade Black. This is just going to help define our lashes even more. I'm now just going to curl my lashes and apply a couple of coats of my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. my lashes today I'm going in with these Salon System Natural Lashes. I believe they're in the style 132 or 112. As always I will list them in the description box below and also link them in the accompanying blog post. But as you can see I've just applied them along my national la natural lash line and also pinched my lashes together with my falsies. I've then gone back over with that fudge liner just to smudge the lash line even more and make it even more invisible and then I've just meshed them together even further with my eyelash curlers. I'm now going in with Starlight Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've applied a little bit on the tip of my nose and I'm building that up on my cheekbones and I've also applied a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. For blush today I'm using Blush Baby from MAC and I'm just going to apply a light wash onto my cheeks and blending it back into my bronzer. I'm now going in with the banana shade from my powder contour kit just to crispen and neaten up that contour line that we have created on our cheeks. <music> 
to line my lips today, I'm going in with this MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Caramel no Nougat or Nugget. And I'm just lining my outer lip line with this color. It's a really nice sort of brownie nude shade and it would look perfect with any nude lipstick. For my lips today, I'm just mixing a couple of Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I applied a couple of swipes of Milkshake and a little bit of Baby Pink and mixed them together. And I'm then just applying them on to my lips. So I just applied a couple of coats to um, my lips and then I also go in with my ring finger just to blend it in to my lips and just make it look even more natural and softer and there's, so there's no harshness to the lips at all. And then to finish off this entire look, I'm just spritzing my face with a little bit of more of the NYX setting spray. So that was how I created this lovely warm fall inspired makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any um, Halloween suggestions or makeup tutorial suggestions that you would like to see in the next and the next few weeks and the upcoming months, then please let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and share, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I make new videos every Monday and Friday normally, but throughout, throughout the month of October, I'm gonna also post makeup tutorials on a Wednesday as well. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you ever so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. Thank you ever so much, and I will see you all very soon.